So, so I've got a lot of ideas, and I'm uh-huh. glad to uh, glad to finally put these into put these into motion. Show us, Doctor Dick. <laughs> Who's Doctor Dick? <laughs> Dr. Oh, are you, I assumed you were a doctor. You think I'm a dick? <laughs> <laughs> Richard no, sir, Dixon just Dickinson. It's just because you gave, you said your name was Richard. <laughs> Don't mind Simone. I think he's still trying to. I think he's still uh, carrying that buzz just from the shots we did earlier. The because he hasn't had anything for months. Oh, it's this neurotoxin's got me all loopy. <laughs> Oh, I don't have any say in that. That's not my department. I don't know how that thing works. So if we go back in time, are we going to have enough anti-taxin? I mean, you'll come, well. <laughs> Seven days of our time. <laughs> he, he, he pulls up his clipboard, starts writing some stuff down, jo- like just kind of scribbling away. It's just, uh, seven days. Seven days. Carry the two. Um... No, yeah, you should be fine. I love back in the napkin math. It's going to be great. This is going to be fine. This is the power of math, people. <laughs> yeah, science, bitch. <laughs> I hate the new Star Trek. The new Star Trek? Discovery. Oh, Discovery? I don't watch it. I don't care about it. I just, like, that. what I just said was a literal quote from that. They They spout a bunch of, like... Sciency nonsense, and then they do something, and as soon as it succeeds, there's this one chick on the bridge that's like, "This is the power of math, people!" And everybody on the bridge is like, "Aha, yeah, you're right." And I'm like, "The fuck's going on?" <laughs> everybody in Star Trek time is supposed to be like super smart. What are you? What did you just say? They sound like a bunch of millennials in space. Probably because it was written retarded. by a bunch of millennials. Have you seen any of the below deck stuff? The below deck stuff. Is yeah, Star Trek, yeah, Star cartoon. Trek has an animated cartoon about just the the lower level characters. I uh, saw that they had an animated show, and I refused to even look at it after I saw a trailer. You're not missing anything. It's fine. I just go and watch the Orville instead. <laughs> yes. I still need to watch that. It's it's got decent humor, but good writing, I guess. Amazing practical effects. Yeah, they got good practical effects. I'm still just them drifting into a new vehicle. <laughs> yeah, the, the, a lot of the, they they just hand wave a lot of things during one of the space battles because I was making her watch it. They're in the middle of like a fight with another ship, and they're trying to like their like their team is coming back in on a shuttle, and their solution is oh well we've got to get them and then get the hell out. So the guy who's piloting drifts the thing around, like drifts the spaceship like sideways in order for the back of the spaceship, which is where the doors are, to line up with their with their uh, shuttle. And it, the shuttle can go right in and like he drifts into them. So that way they slot like they he's he's the one making them go in and then immediately hit warp drive. And we're just like. You know how fast that ship is moving with as large as it is? <laughs> and the shuttle's also moving, so it's basically yeah. like a direct And they're moving dog. opposite directions, <laughs> and it goes in, and then it just kind of like skids, and it's just like, okay, if the gravity generators on the starship are enough to, you know, not let it just immediately slap into the side <laughs> of that cargo bay, the whiplash alone is going to turn you into paste. <laughs> <laughs> like the sudden stop you're paced in that shuttle i don't care what anybody says you're either destroying the inside of there or you're destroying the inside of there space math is dumb yes but that's also the consequences of a science fiction story being written by an entertainer not an actual uh you know mathematician or scientist oh he does a good job though like it's a, it's a fun show mm-hmm. the the only down like the only downside is, is if you're like an original Star Trek fan, a lot of the things that they bring up are things that were just already done in other Star Treks mm-hmm. or like very similarly done. Right. So it's like. You, they're not exactly treading new ground, really. Yeah, they're not treading new ground. Like they handle them in better, like in good ways. And the effects are really nice. But I've, I've seen original Star Trek fans be like, it's I, He's just ripping it off. 
and he's doing it worse. I'm like, I disagree. There's a racist robot. I'm on board. That does always make it entertaining. And, well, I have missed an, a racist robot since HK47. It's like, I don't know if it's racist if he looks down on every single race other than its own. Because he, it sounds yeah, it just is. like a, it sounds like a superiority complex at that point. It's like it's not even directed at anyone else. It's just, I'm superior. Yeah, his... It's not even like, I don't even think he looks at anyone as his equal. I and really it... don't believe that. I think he just thinks he's the superior of his own race at this point. Well, he his alien race, which are all robots, feel that they are some of the most superior things in the in the galaxy. Which is everybody thinks that they're just racist because of that. Mm-hmm. And then when you ask him about it, like, don't you think you're better than everybody else? He's like, I am. <laughs> As like, I do not. Thi- yeah. There is yeah. there is no thinking it. I factually am. Yeah, <laughs> he's like, I, you give me any metric to measure by, and I can exceed any member of this crew. <laughs> you want Grandpa to do the math on this whiteboard right here? Yeah. <laughs> I'll prove that you're both pieces of shit. You, you guys are both pieces of shit, and I'll prove it mathematically. Well, I don't think... No, 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 no. This has been coming for a long time. <laughs> Let me get my whiteboard. This has been a long time coming. Can you do something about your superiority cl- complex? But I am superior. <laughs> like, one of the episodes is great because some of the crew members get caught by this, like, holograph... Like, th- there's this weird beacon thing that they find that... It appears to be another, sh- like they go towards the beacon and then when they get close, it kind of goes away and they forget about it. And then there's just another ship of theirs that has people on it. They know that talk to them I'm like, oh, let, like, how about you guys come like hang out with us? And they're like, oh, yeah, cool. And like two members go and it just teleports them away into a zoo. And turns out this alien race just collects other <laughs> alien races and puts them in a big zoo. Oh, uh, yes, I've actually seen that one, yeah. Yeah, oh, and it's, wow. it's super good. Like, they just feel like they're better than, like, if you're less technologically advanced than they are, you're just an animal. Yeah, to mm-hmm. them, they were just animals. Yeah, so they put on these, and, like, everybody from around the galaxy that's of a superior race can come and see you in the zoo. Mm-hmm. And the best part is, is that the racist robot, like, they get there, and yes. the, ra- the racist robot is like, oh, yeah, no, I know these guys. <laughs> like what oh yeah they, they believe this and this and this and like okay he's like yeah like can you get us on the planet he's like i can go on the planet <laughs> and he eventually goes and he's debating with somebody but he's just standing there in the background and another crew member is trying to have the debate like the person who's in charge because mm-hmm. they were like the next in command right is trying to talk to the guy who owns this zoo <laughs> and he just keeps like he keeps getting shocked every time it talks to him and not even not even acknowledging they said anything and just like looking at the guy like looking at the guy, other guy he's like why is your pet like <laughs> barking at me barking yeah. at me <laughs> and he's just like if you would please just humor me and act as if they can talk <laughs> yeah. And he's like, okay, yeah. I'll play along. Yeah, he is. <laughs> so good. He's just like, he's like, this is kind of real. What does your pet have to say? <laughs> That's kind of say. And then it talks, and he's just like, he actually listens for a little while, and he's like, yeah, I can make that work. Making some good points. Well, yeah, I think they co- convinced him that their pet, uh, that those people had some sort of disease that was going to spread out throughout the zoo. And he was like, fine, incinerate them. Yeah. No, no, no. They, they first try that tactic of like, well, they have this weird space aids. And he's just like, uh-oh, decontamination space. unit. And then it's just this slow laser wall is literally destroying everything in oh, there. Oh, just and the ha- slowest laser wall so they can debate about it and still have time to save everything. Yeah, and then they convince him of something else. I th- oh, no, they trade for the people. Oh, what did they trade them? They traded every sitcom. <laughs> oh, that's right. Just all of recorded human sitcom history. Yeah. 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 They just, because they, yeah, in every, like, in all of the reality shows right. and stuff. <laughs> and so everybody just keeps going to that exhibit and watching the videos. Right. I think they were watching the Kardashians for the rest of the time. Yeah. Oh, my God. They're like, look at these crazy animals. They're yeah. Just- <laughs> <laughs> and they're not wrong. They're making some <laughs> solid points right there. I mean, shit. Look at our society right now. Yeah, what people, are we? What, what are we spending most of our time? We're concerning about watching what these idiots over in, <laughs> over in Hollywood are doing. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what people like two, three hundred years in the future think of us, because they'll find like bits of our recorded things, and they'll just be like, "What is this? They worshipped a Superman." Okay. 
A lot of things in here about this Superman having a jelly lip a little bit at one point. Weird. You're making me think of the only joke I found funny in the Mortal Engines. When they're having this whole, when uh, London is having this like artifact of like ancient shit that they've dug up from past societies. And they bring and they're protecting these two idols that they thought that everybody used to worship, and but and it's just two giant statues of minions. <laughs> Banana. Yeah. Yes, it's like they were. The, these were the deities of their of a past civilization. <laughs> they're not wrong, <laughs> and it's kind of sad. But anyway, okay. So wait. Are we actually serious on this time travel thing? Well, what yeah. is it that you've got to? So, what do we got to do? Um. Well, it depends. Are you ready to leave today, or do you guys need like a day or two? Surely, you've been briefed on our abilities. Then, yeah. All right. So, you're aware that my ability is completely useless unless I'm intoxicated. I assume that an addict can find something anywhere. All right. I just, I mean, I guess I didn't know how far back in time we're going. What? How far back in time are we going here? What civilization didn't have intoxicants? Dinosaurs. It's not much no. of a civilization, I'm and I'm sure. I'm sure even, I'm, I'm fairly certain. Hang on, hang on. No, never mind. Derek was not paying attention in, in, in any kind of world history class. You, so. <laughs> you could huff sulfur vents, I suppose. The first thing we do when we travel through time is going to have to stop at ye old liquor store. <laughs> <laughs> of course, this could be the it could be a year ago as far. I mean, as, I don't know how far back we're going. <laughs> opioids are pretty predominant throughout most of history. Yeah, but I can't just bring a flask because I got to be naked when I go through time. We don't know how this works. Actually, <laughs> Has yet, it actually, actually been tested but... on anyone else, and have they come back? But I mean, shit. We could land in ancient Mongolia, where you'd have to, where your source would have to be curdled y uh, yak milk. We have sent several goats, and they come back just fine. <coughs> well, six of them came back fine. How many? Out of how many? Seven. Okay. The okay. seventh one seemed to have been gotten at by something. We're not sure. <laughs> it came back. It was just mauled, getting eaten. Okay. So luckily, it's like a boomerang thing. Regardless of what you do, about the time we set to come back, you come back. Oh, so it's you don't just need, if like, something happens, equipment it's... that brings you back. No. Right on. Cool. No, we've been doing a lot of a lot of play with this, and turns out the equipment just gets real messy because people tend to lose them, or they get stolen, or. A lot of play. You guys have been playing with time? <laughs> it's a little reckless, right? We don't tell the higher-ups about those ones. I'd, I'd appreciate it if you didn't say anything about, about some of those. Gotcha. Uh, I wouldn't benefit from any time period. I mean, I mean, I assume we'll be locked up down here anyway, so it's not like the time would benefit us anyway. I mean, if nothing else, we can at least recruit, get a you know, get a little rest, get a you know, get a meal in before we go. But still, at least we can have a you know before we do a briefing of what it is or of what the job is. Yeah, we can make that work. How's KFC sound? I've got Uber Eats. Red. I'll get a bucket. Yeah, chicken's good with me. No, two buckets. <laughs> Company card, after all. I probably would like you, you Dr. Twinsky, if you did some Grubhub, though. <laughs> I guess I could order food today. I haven't eaten today. I haven't either. That settles it. <laughs> Get out the Grubhub KFC, two buckets. Yeah, I worked through my lunch hour Fetus. today. Okay, I don't think he needs twenty dollars to feed you. I only carry twenties, and he feeds me a lot, so it's kind of back pay. Okay. You only carry twenties. How do you? 
How do you? That's all, well, that's all I have right now. I, oh, okay. Generally, I don't carry cash at all. Okay. But ever since I sold that drum set, I've just been carrying the cash in my pocket. Oh, you gave up on the drums? Because it feels good to have money in my pocket. I didn't even have room to set them up in the house, let alone practice. Plus, it wasn't a full set. Okay, I guess uh, what are, what are we ordering then? <laughs> I'm just throwing mo- I'm just throwing money towards it. So, I mean, shit, you, I have no problem with doing the whole. Uh, if you want KFC and you guys want to get like you know buckets of chicken, that's fine. I'm just throwing money towards it. I don't care. Well, I'm not huge on KFC. I was gonna say like pizza or burgers. Pizza. But... Pizza. You go with pizza, Steve? Yeah, pizza's always good. Oh, if we're getting pizza, then fuck Grubhub. We're just gonna go on the. Right, yeah, because the pizza place will generally... They were set up for delivery beforehand. <laughs> uh, the now original. What I find a lot is that they outsource for the delivery, and it's kind of pissing me off, because I don't, I don't like a lot of Uber Eats or whatever people showing up at my house mm-hmm. randomly, because like, I'm like, no, I ordered Papa John's. And they're like, well, I can't find your house. And then they're asking me to leave them a, a review on the app. And I'm like, I don't have the app. I didn't order DoorDash. Like, yeah, or whatever that's mm-hmm. weird to me. I'm just going to get Pizza Hut then, because there's one I'm... That's sweet. Pizza is always good. That one down there on the um, added a drive through. Oh know. no, wait, that's the one I'm talking about. The one on. Yeah. Because they moved it. It used to be on. Oh right, yeah, they weren't doing very well out there, were they? I don't. I don't they, know. They, they downsized and gained a drive through. I think they're doing all right. Yeah, like they they got a new like because they built on to the payload center. Yeah, like they did some just. I saw they definitely did a lot of work to that to the end of that thing. Got a whole parking lot and stuff in there. So right now, our characters are going to get a nap. They're going to get a meal. Uh, we're going to get a brief, hopefully, on the more details of this mission. Because we're, like, uh, going back in time. And that's, yeah. Because that's, that's <laughs> I kind of would like really it, know right now. But. You know, maybe a, a bit of an explanation about how this is going to work. Derek's probably not going to understand it as much. I mean, he's got a plus one to his intellect. But it's still, it's kind of just, he's just a slightly smarter than average kid, but he's not the most educated. He's just got general education. He is most of the explanation is going to go over his head. Right. Well, like none of our characters are geniuses. And like Jake said earlier, we're not hugely combat oriented. Uh, I mean, obviously you are, you're like our heavy hitter, but other Pretty than that, much. we're probably going to be like, we've always been set up to be more like some sort of stealth or role playing. Kind well, of- I mean, your character is really great for you know information and reconnaissance. Um, Robin is excellent for espionage, sabotage, and just all around distractions and dancing. Yeah, that's- yeah. You know, she's a great cunning and de- and deviator. And yes, I was just Face, said, I'm Hannibal. The- be a Baracus. <laughs> Beats Battlestar Galactica. <laughs> Beats Bears <laughs> Battlestar Galactica. <laughs> it's an office thing. Oh. <laughs> well, I was doing an A-team reference, but it did definitely uh, it, it evoked Bears Beats Battlestar Galactica. <laughs> Michael! <laughs> God, I love The Office. I'm not a fan. Yeah, He's not, not a fan of There's a lot of cringy humor. parts. There's a lot of parts where I can't even watch. Like I have to. Look I away. watched I the just... first episode. I could not stand it. I have not watched it since. Oh my! So the first season's hard to get through because Michael is so crazy of a boss, mm-hmm. and even uh, Jake was asking questions like, "How does anyone put up with this?" I'm like, like "Why does anybody pretty... work?" <laughs> right, it, it's infuriating for a while because he's unbelievably terrible. Like just like uh, <laughs> he is very bad. Right, like. Uh, was he, he kissed he kissed the the gay guy in the office just to like fuck like he just to fuck with him in front of everybody outed him in front of the whole office and all that uh and he's just constantly doing anything he said i think he said the n word doing uh, uh doing a stand up uh special after what's the name of that guy Chappelle Dave Chappelle he was doing one of Dave Chappelle's set in front of the office, said the N word. So they but he him. carried the show, and that's the best part because it's funny when it's not happening to you. It's funny to watch it happen to other people. So I'm getting two medium pizzas. What do people want? Sausage, pepperoni. I don't care as long as it's not olives or mushrooms. I like meat and vegetables. Both are cool. I don't care what's on that, but I do just want. I do want sausage. I'll eat anything else. Okay, I'll get one with sausage and pepperoni.
We're talking regular sauce? Yeah. Good. Yeah, I think... I don't like any of that barbecue sauce or oh, wait, there's sauce. Or... There are three toppings, so if we want a th- well, like a third topping on there. You guys like uh, where there's what? Beef, bacon. salami, spinach. Maybe they're bacon on it. Who I'm doesn't like good bacon? For bacon? Has anyone here seen the Umbrella Academy? Yes. No. I keep thinking of my character. He keeps reminding me of the uh, the brother that can control the dead or whatever, and then he goes back in time and goes through Vietnam and all that. He just reminds me of Simon, just in the way that he's like always doing drugs and just being a a, a jerk off. Mm-hmm. But I don't think Simon's gay, so that's kind of where I draw the line on that one. They also have similar powers in the sense that it's not like general super strength or anything, but they both have like these kind of utility abilities. More right. Or less. What's wrong with being gay? What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you said being gay is where you draw a line. What's wrong with being gay? I just mean on the comparison. That's where that's the difference. <laughs> I ain't gay. <sighs> I ain't getting on no gay. I mean, you did spend the night alone with a man in a hotel. A younger man. A boy, practically. <sighs> this app is fucking dumb. I'm gonna just do it on my computer. Right. Okay. Take two seconds. Oh.